Western Mass News first brought you last month. A viewer reached out to our newsroom wondering how the Belchertown woman who was attacked by a fisher, commonly referred to as a fisher cat, was doing. We caught up with Kelly Sullivan, who is now hopeful for a full recovery. Trying to walk as much as possible. It's been like a really up and down, but yeah. It's getting there. Kelly Sullivan speaking with Western Mass News a month after she was attacked by a fisher or fisher cat in Belchertown while getting into her car in broad daylight. I felt something attached and when I looked down I didn't really even know what it was. When we first told you Sullivan's story last month, she was still in the hospital and wasn't sure if she would need to have her foot amputated. But since then, she says she's received excellent care at Cooley Dickinson Hospital. Pain wise, still there, but the infection, I'm not fighting it any as much anymore. I mean, I still have a lot of meds, but. I'm definitely feeling way better. Sullivan tells us she went through physical therapy and her friends have been pushing her to get up and moving on her foot. But a full recovery could still take several months to even a year. Everything just inside of my foot really just feels, I can't even describe it, like nothing's attached, like, like rubber bands almost separated. Other than the injuries in her foot, the attack leaves internal marks on Sullivan as well. I'm s still scared. Like, I just pictured him in my mind. She tells us she's grateful for the outpouring of support she's received from the community, and now she's hoping others can learn from her story. Just to be aware of your surroundings. Like, every time I go outside now, I'm really loud. I, like, smack my um, hands together. I clap or I make noise. I just, that way, if anything's there, it takes off. Officials from the Massachusetts Division of Fisheries and Wildlife tell us they don't know what happened to the fisher, but they say incidents like these are very rare and fisher problems are much more likely to happen in relation to attacks on backyard chickens.